Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John Sharn. I'm Alicia, as I usually say every single Saturday. If this is your very first time here, what we do, we like to talk about all things crochet and drink a little bit of wine. Today, we're going to be looking at some of my favorite uh, top 10 crochet skirt patterns. So if that interests you, make sure you stay tuned and join me in the chat. So what's going on with you guys right now? I am currently near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it's a I wouldn't say it's a beautiful day. It's still 35 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on where you are. That's still considered freezing, if close to freezing. I think that's one degree Celsius. I'm learning my Fahrenheit and Celsius math, so forgive me. But in Pennsylvania, it's always cloudy, and I actually see blue skies when I'm pointing over here. That means I can see out my window in my living room. So, guys, what's going on with you? Let me hop into the comments and see who's here. We got one of my faves, Knit and Crochet Tiger. Hey, how you doing? And another fave, uh, Vergie. Hello. And we even got somebody watching from my Facebook. Uh, I hope I say your name right. Chateaua Perry. Hello, I'm in Westland. Oh my goodness. Am I Missouri? That's M-O. Mississippi. Is that right? No. I forget. Um, forgive me. I haven't gone over my Pennsylvania states in so long. My son did that in the fourth grade and now he's sixth grade. So it's two years past. So I'll never remember. For, for, forgive me. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. As usual, for the past couple of weeks, I've been doing a dual live stream. So right now I have my viewers on Facebook. Thank you for being here. And my view usual viewers on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. So, hmm, how should I start this out? Should we immediately go into talking about the patterns? No, let's see. Hey, this is Kimberly Craig from um, Huntsville, Alabama. Hello, cousin. How you doing? And one more, Takesha Robinson, she says, good morning, everybody. That means you must be in a different time zone than me because right now it's 2 p. Eastern Standard Time. Hmm. I think we'll hop directly into this roundup. All these patterns that I'm going to be looking at here today, they're all absolutely free and they're going to be linked down in the description box below. So if you're bored of me talking nonstop, just stop the video, click the link down below and follow along to any one of these patterns. So before I usually start into the roundup, I like to ask all of you a question. And before you answer the question, I want you to put question marks in front so I know to bring it to the front. Like, see how I brung Woven Tales Design? Nicole from Woven Tales Design from South Florida. You see how I brung her comment up? That's what I want to do for you guys. So make sure you put question marks in front of it. So the question for you, when you are crocheting, what else are you doing? Are you listening to music? What type of music? Are you watching a TV show? Tell me what TV show you love to watch. What exactly are you doing while you're doing your crocheting? All right. So let's hop directly into this roundup with the very first pattern. And guys, forgive me. I did not proofread, well, not proofread, it's written beautifully by my wonderful uh, assistant, Angela Adler, but I didn't read it beforehand to make sure I won't mess up any of my words. So cross your fingers. So the first pattern on this list is called the Bohemian Skirt. If you love all things boho, then you'll definitely need to learn how to crochet this skirt. So you can have this one ready to make in your closet. Lucky for you, this pattern has both a video and written instructions. Absolutely love skirts, but only thing that scares me about skirts is the waistband. But it looks like she has a straw drawstring. Personally, I've always had trouble picking the right yarn for it. So if you guys know what type of right yarn do you guys use for skirts? Is, is cotton, do you use acrylic, what do you use? Oh, I love this skirt. See, I might have to turn the slip all the way to the side, show a little bit of leg. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can get a closer look. Let's uh, see, open image and new tab. So you can actually see the details of the skirt. There we go. All right, this is gonna be a nice quick stitch. You don't have to worry about putting double crochets or half double crochets. And you can see it's a little bit spacey. So make sure you have a little slip or something underneath. So, you know, all your lady parts aren't showing. <laughs> The next pattern on the list, this is called the Capri Skirt. 
go bold with bright colors in a stunning skirt crochet pattern. The color scheme of this skirt is like a breath of fresh air and it reminds me of the sunset. The designer of this pattern is Sonja Oda. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the designer of this pattern, forgive me. The designer of this pattern here is the Naughty Lace. And remember guys, all these patterns are linked down in the description box below and are all absolutely free. And if you would ever like to help support my channel so I can continue giving you free videos, written patterns, and all cool sources of crochet information, if you're watching via YouTube, you'll see the little super chat button. It has a little dollar sign and it's green. When you click that, the lights will go off behind me and the bubbles will blow and you'll get to spin the wheel of patterns. And I found out on Facebook, if you're watching on Facebook right now, there's something called stars. I've never had anybody donate with a star before, but if you would like to test that out, please give a donate door star and let's see what happens. And you also get to spin the wheel of patterns, but I think I'll have to press the button for the lights and whistles to go off for you. So forgive me. And if you do donate and it doesn't show up, just let me know in the comments right now and I'll give you your praises. <laughs> All right. So the question that I asked you, what are you doing when you crochet? Well, I'll go first. Lately, I haven't actually been crocheting too much. I've been doing a lot more crochet research and right. Whoop, somebody made the lights go off and the bubbles go off. So let's see who that is. Thank you so much for donating. I'm going to try to pronounce your name, Nadera Campbell. Thank you. So we're going to give you a cheers and you'll get to spin the wheel of pattern. So let's give that a spin. Where's my wheel? There we go. Let's scroll down so we can see everything on the wheel. You get. So to receive that, you'll have to email me at. Let, let me turn off these buttons. <laughs> bubbles everywhere you'll have to email me at littlejohnsyarn at gmail.com but don't worry if you don't forget my email address is linked down in the description box below so i can't find you from uh youtube or facebook wherever you're donating you have to email me so you can receive your pattern but cheers to you i guess the more you donate the more i'll take sips of my wine Woo. a little bit strong today all right so i was saying what do you do while you're crocheting? Like I said, I haven't really been crocheting too much. I've been doing my crochet research. I listen to music. I think and it's been a specific type of music. It's been straight 80s. I went to go see the Whitney Houston movie, uh, I Want to Dance with Somebody, and I've been stuck on her nonstop just... When I work, it's weird. My phone's just not loud enough. So I'll put it in like this or echo. I don't know. I've just been jamming out to all things 80s lately. I don't know. It reminds me of being young and it gets me going and it gets all type of energy. My kids, well, actually, it's just my son here. He's like, why do you listen to such old music? I'm like, bless your heart, son. I love you to pieces. <laughs> so let me hop in. What do you guys do while you're crocheting? Here we go. Well, hey, Gloria, let's see. Waiting on my ride to store, store and not, but I don't know what that is. Watching TV. <laughs> uh, Knit and Crochet Tiger, he says, I watch YouTube vi videos and snuggle with my dog. How do you get your arms or your dog snuggles with you while you crochet? Maybe that's it. And she says, I'm ignoring my husband's shows and sometimes reading a book. <laughs> I completely understand. Marty, Marty, my favorite, watching Hallmark or HGTV. I have not watched HGTV in forever. I used to be obsessed with um, how they would search for a house or the neighbors would decorate the house. And I was always so confused on how these people with regular jobs are affording these million dollar houses. But come to find out, 
all of these things on like the HG, well, at least the buying of the houses were completely staged. Like they had their house bought already. And I don't know, it, that made me upset about it. But maybe I'll go back to watching, we'll see. Okay, I listen to gospel music while I'm crocheting. Chateaua, I hope I'm saying, Chateaua, I'm hoping I'm saying your name right. Forgive me if I'm not. Okay, and guys, remember if you're um, commenting, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring it to the front. I know you didn't put uh, question marks in front, but I can see you answered it. Uh, Caitlin says, sometimes I crochet when I get to be a passenger in a car. It keeps me from having anxiety about the traffic. For, that's pretty awesome. For me, I cannot crochet while I'm in the car. It's almost like when I read, if somebody is driving, I'm in the passenger seat, it makes me nauseous. I just, I don't know. I can't do it. Woven Tales Designs. I knit in my spare time and I love listening to, I mean, watching Downton Abbey. Their accents are soothing. It's like a British tele, British tele, telenova. I don't, Woven Tales, I'm with you. I absolutely love Downton Abbey. That is, I went to see both movies with my girlfriend. We made sure to go on a Monday night when absolutely nobody was there so we can yell at the movie screen all at the same time. When that first came out, I didn't watch it when it first came out. I'm like, uh, I don't care for it. It's too, it's too much for me. It's too slow. But once I got past like the first two episodes, the passive aggressiveness of the show and it does have drama, but the drama is like slow hitting drama. I don't know. I just absolutely love Downton Abbey. I'm weird. Just like you, we're two peas in a pot right there. Okay, let me scroll and see what else somebody else has to say. Let's see. Who to do? Lisa, hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Watch TV while I'm crocheting. Everybody's watching TV, or like the last one said, listening to TV. Oops, I missed the beginning of the question. I normally crochet. Knit is my wind down since crochet is my hustle. Okay. Oh, we got one from our Facebook. Not too many people are learning that my uh, lives are now streaming simultaneously on Facebook. So, Chastity, thank you so much for watching me on Facebook. I preach that. Sing and watch TV. My favorite crochet friend in the world, Jay Hook Crochet, a.k.a. Reggie. These days, I mostly crochet during nap time at kindergarten while the kids are sleeping. So what I do listen to in their nap time is music. So, yes, that's what you said. I make sure I try to read all these correctly. I watch crime documentaries and watch YouTube. I'm always so amused by the women who watch crime documentaries. I'm... I think a lot of women love these like uh, snapped or how to get away with murder type things. I think a lot of you women are plotting a crime or at least you're not plotting a crime. I guarantee some of you know how to commit one without getting caught. Mm. Let me know if that's you. Okay, well, I'll answer. Hey, Cherry, how you doing? I'll look at one more and then we'll hop back into the roundup again. Uh, my friend Gloria, I put my channel on, I put my channel on my TV, big screen, getting too old, need to see you better. I only watch, I don't watch YouTube on my phone. That's, that's ridiculous. My phone is, it, it's absolutely too small. I only watch YouTube on my TV. I don't think of it as an app anymore. I'm in my bedroom and I'm, I can't even say I'm scrolling. I got my remote and I'm scrolling on a TV. All right, so we're going to hop back into this roundup. And remember, all these patterns are linked down in the description box below. And once again, if you would like to help support the channel, you can support it on Facebook through stars. I have no clue how that works. So if somebody want to test that out on Facebook and click the star button. But on YouTube, you can help support through Super Chat. So now I'm going to get into the very next question. The question I asked this last week, but I'm going to ask again. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Are you crocheting something for Valentine's Day? Are you going out with your sweetheart? Are you enjoying a nice time alone? So tell me, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Let me pull up my script. 
and hop back into this roundup. So we did that skirt. We did that, that, and now we are here. This is called the last summer's day skirt. A lace pattern for a crochet skirt is a perfect thing to wear for vacations or in the summer. It's especially nice to throw over a swimsuit and you can make this one using shell stitches. I absolutely love this one because I think right now is the perfect time for vacations. It's something to put on over a swimsuit. If you're going someplace warm and tropical, I'm not, but if you are, this one is perfect for you. Let's take a look at some of these other pictures. Gorgeous. I want to see their waistband. I wonder if I can see this closer. Do you guys have, have any tricks for keeping the waistband cinched? Do you use a drawstring? Do you add an elastic? What exactly do you do to keep the uh, waistband in a nice shape? Oh, and I didn't tell you the designer of this. The designer of this pattern is Katarina. And remember, these patterns are free and down in the description box below. Pattern number four. This definitely isn't your grandma's crochet skirt. The bright pink colors and a side slit make this skirt downright, dare I say, sexy. The designer of this pattern is Jenny and Teddy. I love this. Oh, let me see if I can get a better picture for you guys. There we go. I think she also uses a drawstring but hmm, it kind of looks folded over. I wonder if you can fold over, like I said, elastic. Personally, I would add maybe a little extra more rows because all my lady meats might fall out the side of the leg. Oh, that's a lot of lady meat. This is for the uh, young ladies. I'll make mine a little bit longer. She is so cute. Every single person that's modeling these skirts got the perfect legs and perfect body. That's why I'm sometimes terrified of making crochet clothes because somebody's going to have to model it. And I don't have any models other than myself. I was thinking about buying one of those big mannequins, but I don't know. I would just stick the hats. I don't mind putting a hat on my head or a necklace or a scarf or a bag. But like I said, that was super cute. I absolutely love it. But I have too much lady meat hanging out. I got to keep that a little bit hidden. So. Let's hop into what uh, the question that I asked you guys. What is your plan for Valentine's Day? I'll go first. My plan for Valentine's Day, at first I didn't have any plans. Now I have some plans. I'm going to be taking my son and his best friend to karate class. So that's what I'll be doing on my Valentine's Day evening, watching the kids get off physical and exercise and do some kicks and punches. But other than that, being a newly uh, single woman, I, ha I absolutely have no plans. I don't know how this whole single thing works. So I'm going to watch them in class, come home, have some wine, and I still have it on my agenda. agenda. I am going to watch The Notebook. I haven't seen The Notebook since early 2000 and stuff. 2000 and something. And I think I need to bring it back. I love a good romantic movie. So let's see. What do you guys, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? And make sure you put question marks in front of it. Let me know so I can bring it to the front. Let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Well, this is the last, uh, this isn't about uh, Valentine's Day, but this is about the true truck. True crimes documentaries. Reggie says, I can't watch crime TV shows while crocheting. I missed too many details on both the series and the project I'm working on. Makes sense because they always start like a mystery. And it's like you have to solve the crime with them as the little documentary goes. And if you miss any clues, you're like, and there you go. You missed the stitch. So Mother Cal, taking my dog for a walk with my friend. Cheers to you. That's what's up. Sean Marshall says, going out to dinner with my boyfriend. Where are you guys going to dinner? You got to give me details when you're commenting. I like to talk to you guys. Expand, expand. Megan, hi. I taught myself how to knit. I've been working on a baby blanket for my friend of mine. Oh, that's beautiful. See, 
you got to expand like what stitch are you using? Do you have a favorite crochet designer that you decide to make this baby blanket off of? But I always think crochet is definitely a gift from the heart. Whenever I think about it, I always think about my grandmother. She always gave stuff away. Hey, Bree Bree, chilling at home with myself. Me too. Well, actually, once karate class is over, then I'll be chilling at home with myself. <laughs> Reggie says, I've been asked to help with organizing costume warehouse, so that's what I'll be doing on Valentine's Day evening. J-Hook, you are just so romantic. Certain thing, ladies and gentlemen, we this is about the least romantic group here. I think we're all just chilling, except for uh Sean, who's going out with her boyfriend. Is anybody else doing anything fun? We're all so so lonely here. The crazy poppy lady, my new friend, the eye exam, and a migraine. LOL. We'll we'll do something later in the month. Once all that yummy chocolate and wine is on discount. Smart. Oh, yeah. Anybody doing anything? February 15th, when everything's on sale. Me either, Kaylin. Me either. Going out to dinner with my friends. Oh, I know you didn't put question marks in front, but I want to say hi, Linda. First time in your live. Greetings from Puerto Rico. I'll be home doing movie day. What movie are you watching? Know what? You should watch The Notebook, too. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I get so happy. I know you didn't put question marks in front, but like I said, not too many people are starting to watch from Facebook. Everybody watches me on YouTube, but thank you for joining me from the Facebook. I appreciate that. This was a, oh, okay. That was a great try. Okay, this is how I pronounced it first. Chateaua, Ch okay, but however, it's pronounced Chata, Chata, okay. T-W-A, Tawi, oh, I still can't do it. T W I Taya uh Shataya uh girl I, I'm I'm messing it up even more. But thank you. I always mispronounce names and I always tell people to put their names in to write it phonetically. And even phonetically, I am butchering your name. I'm so sorry, but you still get a cheers. <laughs> Let's just start giving away stuff to everybody's name I butcher. Let's see. Megan says, my boyfriend and I had our Valentine's Day date yesterday and this morning because won't be home on the 14th. Oh, working from home. I'm okay. I'm going to how I can't do it, girl. I'm sorry. I just ruined it. <laughs> my friend, Nick and Crochet Tiger. For Valentine's Day, I have a doctor's appointments and then snuggle with my dog and crochet. Watch the greatest love story. Alien, one through four. Shikorni Weaver and the Alien Queen. Cheers to you, the greatest love story. I, I, I don't know about that one as things get like blown out through people's chest, aliens. Okay, I'm gonna go over maybe a couple more and then we will hop back into this roundup. And remember, all of these are gonna be linked down in the description box below. Star says, going to dinner tonight for Valentine's Day. Then on Valentine's Day, I have to work and scouse. The next month, we're going out for a weekend as a late Valentine's. That sounds like a plan. Okay, guys, we are going to hop back into this roundup. So the next question I want to ask you guys, since spring is slowly getting closer, and I can tell at least through my analytics and what goes on on my YouTube channel, views get lower during the spring. Do you guys actually take breaks during like the warmer months or do you change what you're crocheting? Do you go from making blankets to making something more spring-like? What do you do? Do you take breaks for crochet or do you change what you're crocheting during the season? I hope that question made sense. So make sure you put question marks in front and comment in the comment section you know the routine so let's hop back into this roundup and remember all these patterns are linked down in the description box below before we get in there i meant to tell you about the things that i'm wearing guys you see these beautiful earrings well actually i'll tell you after we're gonna hop back into this roundup first then we'll get into all the cool handy crochet things i'm wearing so we get that pattern, we did this sexy pattern, 
And next, this skirt's more my style. This is called the sprinkle skirt. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Check out this matching sweater and pattern for a crochet skirt. This is such a cute and cozy ensemble that is great for both casual and fancy dress situations. The designer of this pattern is Katerina. This, uh, what is this yarn? Oh, I love this. See, I love her. Didn't I made, not made, I did roundups with her. Was her hair a different color? Katerina, such a cute girl. Let me see the yarn, Ralvie. Here it is. What yarn is this? Oh, she doesn't say the brand of yarn she's using, but she's using the heavy worsted weight yarn. Cute. But side note, that reminds me of Reclected Goods. She'll be here next week talking about crochet history and the fact that worsted weight yarn is actually not a weight. I talked about this last week, but she taught me this. I was completely shocked. There's technically no such thing as worsted weight yarn. Shocking. All right, so number six on the pattern. This is called the Adventurer Skirt. This not quite pencil, not quite A-line skirt is a free pattern that's perfect for all life's adventures. The basic design makes it easy to make and easy to wear too. The designer of this pattern is Transatlantic Crochet. This pattern right here is perfect for beginners and is easy probably to size based on your figure. So that's what I love. That's why I'm always scared when I make wearables. I can make wearables for myself, but then having to adjust for other sizes, that's why I personally, as a designer, not a, I'll finish somebody else's pattern, but as a designer, I usually stay away from it. But this is cute. All right, so back into this, me. The question that I asked, do you guys take any breaks during certain times of year, especially now that it's coming in the spring? Like I said, I've noticed views on my channel tend to go down the warmer the months get, because I guess yarn gets hot. Nobody's feeling like yarn in the summer, except for the, like the super savvy crochet girls that be making these cute little crochet holter tops and whatnot. So I'll go first. Do I take breaks? I think technically, I've been taking a crochet break. I think I took one all winter. I've made two patterns since July. I think that's all I've made. Maybe like two or three pat. Maybe I was just say two patterns. So I've basically been on a crochet break, crochet hiatus, but I haven't stopped my crochet love. I've been doing my crochet research, writing crochet blogs, and doing all my YouTube reviews and videos. So, oh, I thought I heard somebody knock. So yes, I take crochet breaks. I usually try to leave it for the summer, but I might try to pick up so I'll be ready for the next fall. So I'll hop into the comments and see, do you guys take breaks? Do you change what you crochet? I'm gonna start from the bottom this time. Bree Bree says, I mainly crochet during the fall and winter months. I enjoy hiking and nature photography during the spring and summer. So you have multiple crafts. You're a craftaholic. That's nice you're able to switch up what you do. I'm so envious of people who are able to do multiple crafts. I am a one trick pony. All I know is crochet. Okay, Gloria. I only use skirts over my leggings. I'm no model. Yes, <laughs> me either. Okay, uh, Ice Fox. I changed what I'm crocheting, jewelry, wall art, and skirts. Smart. Shorn. I usually change within a season using more cotton yarns. Oh, you talking about the little sprinkle outfit with the, that's... You know, I know what you're talking about. Yes, the one where I didn't know what yarn that was using. It looks like something you would buy in the store. Not a complicated pattern, but the yarn itself, gorgeous. And if you want to make that skirt, she also has the free sweater pattern so you can put them all together. I, I just want to say your name. Hey, Pooey. I love crocheting garments year round, mostly shorts during the spring and summer. I've been wanting to crochet shorts so bad, but I don't want to model them. Anything that I crochet, 
I have to model myself and I'll feel slightly insecure putting my butt in front of the camera. I need to find some young legs that can model my stuff that's not intimidated with their butt on the camera. <laughs> Knit and crochet tiger. Fall and winter, I crochet blankets. Spring and summer, I make small items like gloves, scarves that don't have that don't have to rest in my lap. Oh, that makes sense because your lap will end up getting overheated and hot. You're smart, mister. You're very smart. Sea turtle poppy. This is my second year crocheting and I plan on finally making crochet clothes for myself, cardigans, sweaters, and etc. I think cardigans, excuse me as I scratch my ear, cardigans, I love to wear those year round. That's something you can toss on on a little uh, tank top in the summer. If it's cold at night, pop it on. Something to wear in the winter time, pop it on. Cardigans, perfect. And I'll do one more, Bergy. I'm always working on multiple projects for all seasons, so it doesn't matter much for me when the seasons change. I think I, ooh, I'll do a couple more. Reggie says, change more lightweight yarns and choose more airy and lacy patterns. Let's see, I'm just skipping around. Uh, hi from, thank you, Michigan. I am so ridiculous. Why didn't I know MI was Michigan? I'm like, I was going through all the M states. If you're just showing up here, somebody, they usually tell me where you're like, hi, I'm from so-and-so and I'll -so, use their United States, Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania, their state initials. And I forgot it. She had used MI. Somebody else used MI and I'm like, what's MI? Missouri, Mississippi? No, that's MS, MO, MI is Michigan. Thank you. Hi from Michigan. Hey, uh, Westland. <laughs> Valen who? Haven't heard of it. LOL. Let's see. And crochet spin knit all year. And Mother Kale, I find crochet much more in the warmer month. I, I find I crochet much more in the warmer months, mostly stuffed animals or tops. Okay. All right. I'm going to hop back into this roundup. And guys, remember, all these patterns are linked down in the description box below. And I think we'll have, how many more patterns we got left? We have a couple more. So the next question I'm gonna ask you, and I wanna prep for the very last one. Guys, if you have anything that you wanna show off, what you're currently making or creating right now, down in the description box, and I'll probably put it in the comments right now, my email address, email me what you're working on. Take a picture so we can show everybody that's watching on Facebook and YouTube right now. Let's show off, let me type this, littlejohnsyarn at gmail.com. My email is also in the description box below. So show off what you're making. So what I'm gonna ask you now, have you ever, I know you guys all knit and crochet, we know you all got skills, but do you buy any other crochet items from other makers or do you just make it yourself? It doesn't have to be crochet. Do you buy, I don't know, what do other people sell? If you're a crocheter, do you buy knit items from knitters or jewelry from jewelry makers? So make sure you put a question mark in front of it and comment below and don't just say yes. Tell me what you made and if you remember designer, tell us about it. So let's hop back into this roundup. And remember guys, you can always help support the channel via Super Chat. Oh, look at this skirt. This is called the Lana Pencil Skirt. I know this piece looks like it's knit, but you'll have to trust me on this one. This pattern will teach you how to crochet a cute pencil skirt using single crochet and slip stitches. The designer of this pattern is Hook Nook Life. I love this skirt. I think that's made with like a bulkier weight yarn. That is cute. And all right, this waist looks like it will not stretch. I wonder if there's like a button in the back of it. I would love to see the back of this sweater. Not sweater, but this skirt. Oh, I am in love with this. What type of yarn she's using? Do, 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 do. The yarn is a, it's a worsted weight. I thought it was a thicker yarn. It looks much thicker. Beautiful. 
Okay, I want to see if there's like a button in the back or anything. Or is this something you just slip on? I think it's something you just slip on. Oh, I might have to make that one. The next pattern. Everybody's loving these orangey colors. I guess it's more fall looking, fall winter. But this is called the Francis skirt. This cute crochet skirt design features a high elastic waist, a button side, and a cute pico stitch edging. The best part about this crochet skirt, other than the fact that the pattern's free, is there's no sewing involved. The designer of this pattern is Hook Yarn, uh-oh, Cara Benner, I can't say the name, Cara Benner. Cara Benner? Okay, we're gonna go up to the, where's her name? I can't pronounce it. Cara Biner. Cara Biner? I think I pronounced it right. Forgive me, guys. But this is a cute skirt. Show you some more of these pictures. Oh, okay. We'll do one more and then I'll hop back into it. This will... Nope. Actually, no. We have two more after this. So, guys, have you ever bought something from somebody else? that was handmade i know us as crafters were always like we can do that but do you buy it also i'll go first but this is what i was talking about earlier these earrings these earrings were made by parley view crochet i linked her down in the description box i was on one of her lives i believe it was last friday i think every friday she has or at least twice a month it's called cellavision where she brings designers onto her show, people who are selling their items so they can find a brand new audience of people. And some of the work I seen was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm like, sure, I can make these, but you know what? I don't feel like going to the store, buying the thread, find the perfect earrings. When somebody else already does it, I'm like, I am gonna buy these earrings. And I think they match perfectly with my necklace today. All right, I'm not done. From that same live stream called Cellavision, Parley Du Crochet. Look at this. This is not my pattern. This is made by Loving Every Stitch by Ruby Baby. Look at this. I wonder if I can put it on my head without like messing up my hair too much. Ah! How cute is, am I getting it right? I couldn't resist it. I'm like, I'm not going to make this. So I'm going to support a local crocheter who does. And it like fits over the shoulders, keep you warm. See, I, I'm about to burn up in here because in my house, I absolutely love wearing my pea coat. If you don't know what a pea coat is, it's almost like what sailors used to wear, but it comes with no hood. So now I bought this from her. And I think I look extra cute. It has cute, it's all a little bit crooked. It has little drawstrings on it. I couldn't resist. Let me take off my glasses. Oh, my hair is gonna be a mess. And when I got this in the mail, I had a, I sniffed it. I, I, I'm a yarn sniffer. She put some type of baby cologne on her, all of her products and it smells so good. I thought that was so genius. Look at this. And I think she also has a free pattern. If you don't want to buy, she also creates videos and makes patterns. And her shop will be linked down in the description box below. I bought this from her. And I also bought a pair of waist beads from Quidesh Creative. That's my crochet BFF that we hang out. Uh, the waist beads are supposed to go underneath your clothes, but I pulled it over top of my clothes. Oh, I've been sitting down too long. These little waist bees, I thought they were so cute. I, I'm not going to wear them above my clothes. It's like a trick to, well, let me show you a little bit closer. Look how cute these are. It also helps you maintain your weight. So when you're eating too much, you notice these waist bees scrolling all the way up top. <laughs> sort of like a, just something cute and sexy, and it helps you keep stocking your weight. Like, oh, did I eat too much today? I got my waist beads on. So you can check her out if you enjoy waist beads made with natural stones. Not all of her waist beads have natural stones, but she has so many. I bought two, but as I have them on my body, I'm like, I think I need at least two more on my body. I absolutely love them. So check out Quadesh Creative. She's linked down in the description. 
I don't care. I love buying crochet. I love buying and supporting other handmade artisans. I do. Even though I can make some of these things myself, sometimes I just don't want to. And I am, I'm just, these earrings, these earrings is life. All right. And Paula View Crochet, she does tutorials also. If you don't want to buy, you can support her by following along to her patterns. All right. Let's see. Do you guys buy or handmade items? Let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to find where the last I left off. Okay, I'll just start from the bottom and make my way back up to the top. Jean says, no, I never bought any crochet or knit from anybody else, but I did buy some jewelry like earrings and necklaces from other people. I, I'm still just, I'm just going to pose like this as I scroll through the comments. I hear Lady Marmalade. But I, okay. Ule beaucoup, say avec moi. I, I'm saying all the French words wrong, so um, all my French people, please don't talk about me. But Parley Vu Crochet, I love her work. Wonderful. Parley Vu Crochet, Ave Moi. <laughs> Will you crochet with me? Cute. Look at you all bilingual. <laughs> Angie says, absolutely. I always buy from other crocheters and artists, too. Let me scroll. Lori says, I have bought crochet and knit items from a sale of demo products. I've never seen like a sale of demo crochet products. I do enjoy uh, purchasing yarn from people who uh, dye or spin. Well, I haven't, I've never bought from anybody who spun their own yarn, but people who dye, I have dyed their own yarn. Mother Kale. I typically I typically buy others patterns from people and make them. No, that's another way of supporting um handmade artists like myself. If you ever like to buy any patterns from me, my Etsy shop is linked down below. My patterns are always 15% off. Oh, my girl Jojo, thank you for showing up. Don't forget to put a thumbs up to the live. Yes, guys, please click that like button if you're watching on Facebook please like it. Or if you're watching on YouTube, please like it. I would appreciate it. Uh, Lydia, do I buy from other crafters? I feel like it helps inspire me and improve my skills. Charlize, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Hi, Charlize from, I, I remember you. Sha I can't, oh man. I'm going to pronounce it. Shashis. Uh, I used to have a speech impediment when I was young. I could not pronounce my S's, my R's, and uh, TH's. It still slips me up sometimes. It's good to see you. It's been a while since I've been on a live, but thank you so much for joining me on a live. I appreciate you. I remember when you bought my book, I Don't Forget Things. So thank you so much. Here we go, sea turtle. There are so many things I almost buy and think, I can make that. It goes for clothes, storage, kids and stuff. I feel like I can make that and I can't justify buying it. That was me previously. I'm like, I can make that. And then I realized I end up don't, I don't make it. I, the idea will be in my head. It'll be on the shelf. Like I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then I, I don't, I've been making earrings planning on making earrings for at least at least five years and it's such a small pattern to make why can't i bring myself to make it i don't know i i just haven't done it yet <laughs> hey robin robin claiborne is an amazing crochet designer just amazing i bought books from the double stitch twins and i've done photo shoots with them yeah because you're an amazing crochet designer i see this woman on facebook and she'd be posting stuff like i made this this is a i think i was scrolling you had made a popcorn dress am i right if i'm wrong tell me i'm wrong but i think you made a, a dress made of popcorn and it was gorgeous it was nuts you have you have an imagination of skills that I can't even comprehend. Gloria, I buy doilies from others. I love them, but it's too hard uh, for me to make. Yes, I can. I see that. I doilies are beautiful. 
think I've ever bought any, but they're so intricate, I'll probably never make it. But actually working with some crochet thread last, wasn't last month, it's already February, last December by making a, a collar out of crochet thread, I actually enjoyed working with it. The stitches looked more beautiful on such a small thread. It made simple stitches look much more delicate. Maybe I one day I'm going to venture into it. I will. I will one day. I still have, uh, I remember talking about using crochet thread years ago. And my free, my friend online, I don't know if she's here today, but Maria, she sent me, it's on my keychain, a little penny that has like crocheted and crochet thread. I think the pattern was from Jada and Stitches. I still have it on my keychain to this day. All right. And the very last one I'll look at, I feel a sneeze. Nope, the sneeze is gone. Bree Bree says, I like saying her name. Bree Bree, I buy handmade jewelry from other makers. So the last thing we're going to do, we're going to look at these last two patterns. And after that, if you have anything that you would like to show off, we're going to go into my email and we're going to look at, well, we're going to go into, you're going to email me your pictures of what you made and we're going to show it to everybody online. I hope I said that right. So the last couple patterns, we did this beautiful skirt. We did that beautiful skirt, and now we're on the Graphic Blooms Convertible skirt. This is number nine. I don't think that the popularity of granny squares will ever fade. So this pattern for a crochet skirt must make you love cottage core style. It can be even converted into a cozy call. call. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, the designer of this is Fiber Flux. I can never say call, cowl. You guys tried to help me phonetically pronounce that last time, but I would like to see this. I wonder if in the here, are they going to put it around their neck too? I want to see. <gasps> they did. Look at that. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, she didn't show us how to put it on as a call, but it's simple, but you can kind of put on how it's done. That is cute. Maybe there's some other pictures. There it is. Know what? Let's say it's cold and you, you want to go somewhere. You just have your legging, leggings on. Take your collar off and drop it to your hips. And look, you got an instant skirt. But I think that's only an instant skirt if you have an itty bitty waist and hips, though. <laughs> Super cute. And the very last pattern. Let me scroll so you guys can see this a little better. This one is called Spring Break Skirt. This generous length and swing, the generous length and swing of this adorable skirt looks like it would be great for a dance. Pop it over a dress, a pair of shorts, or a pair of leggings. The designer of this pattern is Abigail Hayes. This is definitely a cute pair of leggings. Well, you could make this into like a shawl too at the same time. Let's get some better views. I feel like you could pop this over your shoulders and you got an instant shawl also. I love the spaciness so you ain't spending all day crocheting. Ooh, is this like a, what yarn is this? I see a sheen to it, like a luster, what's that, mercerized? Let's check out what yarn, yep, Simply Soft. I know my yarns, I can spot like a Simply Soft a mile away. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hop back into this. And guys, what are you making? I'm going to go into my inbox now and make sure there's nothing crazy in there. God, has nobody emailed me what they've been working on yet? Usually somebody has. Let me refresh. Oh, okay. I didn't refresh my page. So guys, if you're working on anything right now, I'm going to put my email in the comments. It's Little John Yarns. John's yarns at gmail.com. My email is also down in the description box. Okay. There we go. Bam. Email. Georgetta. Let's see what Georgetta's making. Hey, oh, you're making a good bit of stuff. Open. 
That is cute. Look at you. I love that color. Oh, look at the little one. Hold on, is that fit adult and child? Or you made two different ones? That's what I say. That's what's up. That's multi. I remember this from last week. This is the Teletubbies, or it's the week before. Gorgeous. An Amagurumi doll. Let's see the front. There's the front. It almost reminds me of like a strawberry shortcake with the pink and the red hair. I was obsessed with strawberry shortcake when I was a small child. I used to love orange blossom. Ooh, see, this is something sexy that you make in the spring and the summer. This is by Kaylin. She gave us three pictures. That is cute. And like I always say, guys, forgive me for my repetitive, amazing, cute, adorable, fantastic adjectives. Those are my favorite adjectives to use. So I'm going to use it quite often. But I love this. Okay, check out the back. Beautiful work. Thank you for sharing. Next. And guys, remember, you can share too. Ooh, Katrina, working on the Granny Go Round cardigan and the Cadenza. Cadenza? Did I say that right? Wrap. I'm Kahina on YouTube. Oh, is this your pattern? You should have left the link. Email me again. And if this is your pattern, I will link it down in the description box of this video. Or if you have another pattern, this is, oh, I feel you, girl. You got to weave in and say it ain't so. <laughs> but this is cute. I love your work in progress. And you knit. I don't understand you crochet knitters. You can do both. My fingers just only know one thing, just one thing. Pooey. Pooey. I love your name. Pooey's great. Pooey, you are great. I love this. We have recently seen another cute, somebody made like a jacket, a Valentine's Day jacket. And it almost reminds me of this. And I like the graph scan of the, what's his name? Tony the Tiger. Kathleen. Ooh, Valentine's Day heart. My grandma would always make those. I think I remember this from last week too. Beautiful work. Oh, that's me and my wall art to anybody else. Oh, my girl, Lori, we have three more. You crazy knitter. Wow. I give credit to knitters because with a crochet stitch, I can make such a huge stitch, but a knit stitch is a knit stitch. Yes, it's a little bit thicker yarn, but it's it so, takes so long. That's so beautiful. Loving it. Next picture. Beautiful work, Lori. Thank you so much for sharing. Lori is one of the OG faves. I've loved Lori since I don't know how long ago, but it's it's been a while. Vergie. Vergie is one of my newer faves. She's not newer fave. Vergie has been around for a minute too, but I feel an extra connection to Vergie lately. Hey, Alicia, I think it's finished this long ago, but since you are showing skirts I made with fine cotton mixed gradient cake called, girl, you know, I can't read, Eterophil? I don't know, I can't say the word, but from Hobium with a 3.5 hook. Oh, you did elastic. That's Does that elastic on there, Virgie? That's what I like to see. I feel like if I put that on, I know it's going to fit after wash, after wearing, no matter what. That is beautiful. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is sporting a crochet scarf in blue sewing thread. Tunisian crochet. You get a chairs for Tunisian. He's also sporting a crochet bracelet in red sewing thread. Tunisian crochet. Another one. Her His swing is also crocheted. White rope Tunisian crochet. You are Tunisian it out. That Everybody who Tunisians is chairs. Okay, let me see this. I see the scarf a little bit. I like that swing. That is cute. Thank you for sharing, Amanda, and thank you for modeling Cookie. Oh, we got three more. Okay, after these three, I'm going to start wrapping it up because I think we've been talking for almost an hour. I try to keep these within like an hour time. Okay, you say you have, oh, Caitlin's sharing another one. Pattern from Madeline Shirley. 
I hope I said that right. Yes. Oh, gorgeous. I like the crisscross. And I like the drapey back. That's sexy. That's a sexy top right there. I like that a lot. Donna, what's up? Uh, swimsuit cover-up cardigans. There's the cover. Oh, look at the little fishies on it. Where did you find those little fish uh, bees or what were those called? Decorations? I like that. Beautiful work and beautiful yarn. Mm. Once again, beautiful work. Where's everybody finding all this gorgeous yarn from? I need to up my game. And Denise, what you got here, Denise? I like your little model person. I love the fact that you mix crochet and sewing together. That is the cutest little girl outfit ever. Oh, I don't know if you know this, uh, Denise. Yellow is one of my absolute favorite, favorite colors. I lied. One more and then I'm done. Crazy poppy lady. Let's see. There we go. Oh, is that a little nutcracker? Not a nutcracker. Let me see. Did you tell me exactly what this is? Apparently, we talk a lot. Poppy pattern is free. On, oh, this is a pattern on her rivalry. So, uh, Poppy, send me a link. I'll put it in the description box after the last stream on a replay. Or, guys, you can actually Google her name, but she says it's a free pattern in her shop. The Palace Guard is from a magazine. Do, do, do. Look, ah, the Palace Guard, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, so now we are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. I definitely did. And next week, make sure you join in because we're going to have Reclected Goods coming. She is a crochet and a uh, historian. She gave me the word for antiquian. And I'm always bad with my words, but she knows all things crochet. She'll never say she knows all things crochet, but she definitely knows a lot. She's just spitting information I never even knew existed. So if you want to learn anything about the history of crochet, how to, she can't teach everything, but how patterns have changed, how it's hard to follow patterns from 1860 because they wrote it completely different back then. Make sure you join me next week, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this live stream. I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you all next week. See you guys. <laughs>